April 24th. Uh, it's Wednesday and uh, we're trying to make some displays for the sale that's coming up on Saturday on the 27th. And we're currently, uh, we're doing the first one here now and Jeremy is just cutting out some stuff because I'm not that great at cutting straight lines with knives. So he's attempting it for me. Um, those things are going to be made, out of, or the displays are going to be made out of uh, just foam board. And when I get one put together, I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like. Friday. We're finishing up. We didn't do anything yesterday. We had a bit of a family emergency yesterday morning, um, so I didn't get anything done. But this is one of the. I already showed this one. But we have three sheets of foam board left. We're making the last two stands uh, that I need. The craft fair or the sale, which what have you. It's not just crafts. There's a little bit of everything there. Is tomorrow. I've got my cash box and everything ready. And um, I was working on this. Um, where is it? Um, we'll do that later. Um, I erased the, the hair and everything off of my, um, clown here. I didn't like it. Uh, I, I did, I have two copies just in case. So I kept the original right here, but this is what I have done so far. And I want to, um, give her a different kind of hair line maybe. And because there's not, uh, I, I don't want to have too heavy of line work around the face. I think I'm going to dull that out just slightly as well. So that's what I'm working on. I don't think I'm going to have this ready for tomorrow. Quite honestly, I don't think people around here are going to buy this anyway so it's more along the lines of like an online thing maybe during Christmas you know you get more people out and about so I don't know if it'll sell faster during Christmas but this is what I got so far and uh, yeah that's uh, after we get the other things done I have a few things I need to print out for tomorrow like some extra stickers and what have you uh, and this is really as far as I got with the puffin I'm not really liking how it's turning it out I'm gonna finish it eventually but right now it's kind of like on a, a standstill and I do have some um, the jelly bean row houses here that I did before and I tried to make them into um little keychains and or the lapel pins and the, the last ones that I did I printed them out I didn't even bother to show them but they just all shrunk um when when they did they, they shrunk and they got really dark so they weren't any good and when I put the Mod Podge on top of it the the, the 3d stuff that I have it kind of it just it ruined them and all the ink bled everywhere so that that was done um I was thinking about making um, this into like a small print. I don't know. Like I don't like how the chin turned out. I think I would have to like do a little bit of fixing up on this. Like I, I didn't notice anything wrong with this before, but now that I see the chin, it kind of bothers me, but I don't know. I don't know if people would be interested in this or maybe at a later date I can redo it and maybe it'll, um, it'll come out better the next time. I don't know, but that's, that's pretty much what I've been working on and, uh, yeah, I have some of these old stickers left that'll be taken with me, and I don't have any of these Fantastic Beast stickers left, but they didn't really sell a whole lot anyway, so I'm not going to bother with that. But that's what I'm doing today, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll get some footage through today of things that I'm doing, and again tomorrow at the, uh, the sale when I get there. Alright guys, so I thought I would put in a little bit of footage of me gluing together uh, one of the stands. This is the third one that I did. Uh, there was another one that was extremely, um, it was a bit difficult to put together because it was a lot longer. So there was a bit of difficulty with that one. But pretty much this is all that um, that we did to put together the, the foam pieces, cut out the angles and each individual piece. And then with some hot glue, just go ahead and stick them together. Um, so like I said, I made this one. This one was um, 12 inches um, thick or wide and it was 17 inches long and about 18 inches high or so. And um, the little... Um, 
the, the front pieces kind of gave like a little lip to the back shelf so things wouldn't fall off like I had shown in the picture before and they really worked out great and uh, I'm hoping I'm kind of on the way to the fair or the the market and coming back I ended up knocking off two pieces but it's nothing that the glue gun can't fix uh, so even if I do damage them it, it's really simple to fix but I'm hoping these are going to last for a while uh, because they really did bring a lot more attention um, at the craft fair uh, I'm just going to say craft fair because I'm just so used to calling it that but the fair the market which what have you um, did go really well no one complained about my prices um, I sold all but one of the lapel pins on here stickers um, buttons and some prints so it was really nice I gave away some you know the little I'm calling them information cards because I really don't have a business this is just a hobby for me right now and uh, and I sold um, four or five coloring books as well so that was really nice and then after we decided to go to a local restaurant uh, where the fair was um, called Jungle Gyms. I just wanted to show you guys the ceiling. It's like all bamboo and uh, there's tiki's and monkeys all over the place and it's an open ceiling and everything so I couldn't really go down a whole lot further because there were people there. I didn't want to show them but I just thought the, the things hanging from the ceiling were kind of neat. Um, I've had another run in with the post office. Um, I did mail something to United States recently and it came back because um, the postal lady kind of assumed that because the package fit into the mail slot uh, that they would just charge me for an oversized package um, for the weight and what have you. Uh, but it did come back and uh, I had to pay $8 for something that should have only cost me $1.90. So I came home and I'm making this little makeshift mail slot here. So from now on, uh, if the mail, the bubble envelope can fall freely through this thing, freely, not touching the edges whatsoever, um, then I will just get charged the basic rate for the package because I don't want to be charging people extra money on Etsy if I don't have to. And it's, it's very frustrating because I'm trying to keep my prices down, but honestly, I've lost more in shipping than I have... Um, anything else so it, it is really frustrating and I mean it's not the ladies fault at the mail they uh, I actually sent it out and it came back so the uh, the lady that had mailed it off assumed what she had put on there would have been good enough because it did fit it just didn't fit freely um so that was that so you know, live and learn, I guess. So here's the uh, final portion of the studio vlog this week. There hasn't been a whole lot going on with uh, ArtWise because I have been working on this particular piece here. I did have the um, the Mother's Day sale, the the craft sale in uh, Gander this weekend. So that took some time. And then we lost two or three days making those signs. And then we had a family emergency. And there was just one thing right after the other. And on top of that, I had a job interview, uh, which I did get. So I'm um, just waiting on a start date, which could be as early as Monday, which is May 6th, I believe. So um, if if I get a phone call this week, I'll probably have to start next week. If not, maybe the week after. Um, and it's a 22-week uh, program here. Um, and I'm going to be helping run a uh, week-long, well, it's not a week long, it's about five days, a five-day festival here in town. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what position I have yet, uh, but that's pretty much what I'm going to be working at. And in the meantime, that gives me um, a great chance to be able to find a full-time job elsewhere um, along the way. So it kind of, it was kind of a, a blessing in disguise, I guess. Um, so that's what's happening. It, I don't think it's going to take away from my studio vlogs or my artwork or anything because I'm only working from 8.30 to 4.30 every day, except July is going to be a little bit hectic because, um, because of the festival is going to be, uh, the last week of July and I'm getting married in July and I still have a lot of wedding stuff to do. So I am going to try my damnedest to be able to keep putting up videos, uh, but we're all, uh, just a heads up, you know, things, things can happen, but, uh, hopefully maybe in a little bit, I'll be able to start doing some more live streams. So if I don't get a video up, then, um, you know, the, the live streams will be there to, to counter that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in the background here. And uh, I changed this painting up quite a bit along the way. And uh, as you can see here, I'm just working out the face details and what have you. And uh, I really wasn't liking the balloon position. I wasn't liking the hair or anything like that. So I was kind of leaving that alone and I wanted to work on 
the um, I wanted to work on the face a little bit just to see if I can get that where I wanted it to and then I eventually end up going in erasing the hair getting rid of the balloon and completely doing like an overhaul on the entire thing that's coming up here really really soon and I kind of want to try to get away from the all black line work when I'm doing digital art I really like the um like the way this turned out in the end I mean there's still some line work on there but it's a lot less than you'll see here and uh, I really like the way that it looks so I think I'm going to try to do that from now on like just paint off of the sketch and and work from there but I really did like how it turned out I used some of the hairbrushes for procreate and a lot of people are going to say that's cheating but you know they're there for a reason and um, it, it worked out really well I like the way that it turned out but I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of music here uh, to finish off the the video which it's it's not uh, a lot longer and I hope you guys are having a great week and hopefully Tuesday next week the studio vlogs will be back on its regular day because I do have the entire weekend to work on some stuff and oh maybe I won't leave you with a bit of music maybe by the time I'm done talking about this um, the video will be over but um, I have been gifted some resin materials um, resin jewelry making materials for my birthday and they are actually on the way in the mail so I have a whole bunch of uh, resin coming the molds and um, the little things that uh, the gold flakes and all the, the all the little things that what have you that that you set in the the resin so i am planning on making some resin keychains and necklaces and possibly some earrings at a later date but there's a whole load of stuff that i have planned and i'm thinking about um and when I'm going out on walks or what have you to see if I can't find some little flowers that I can take snippets of and, um, you know, put the flowers in the resin and all that kind of stuff. So then people can have something if they're a fan of the island, like of Newfoundland, then they can have a piece of jewelry or some kind of a, a charm or a keepsake of some sorts that they can have set into the resin. And, uh, you know, that would be like a nice little thing to do. So I'm excited about working on the resin stuff and I'm going to be having some videos here on the art channel for that as well. So maybe Maybe that'll um, keep you guys entertained if you're into the resin jewelry or maybe bring in a few more people to the um, to the channel and what have you. So um, that was the last thing I had to say, though. There seems to be a little bit left to the video, so maybe I will leave you guys with some music. If you have any questions or comments, so you can leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I upload a video. I know a lot of people aren't getting uh, or aren't being notified that videos are going up lately and it's not just um, the small people it's the big youtubers as well so um, consider doing that and uh, I hope you guys uh, like I said last time I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you in the next video